Hi YouTube, it's Lena. As you can see, I'm in a different area today. My husband is on vacation and I feel very bad about kicking him off his computer. So if you hear clicking in the background, that's him on the keyboard. But so I just moved over to the couch for this week. But anyways, we are here, as you can guess by half face done, pajamas, crazy hair, with a first impression. Today we are going to be testing the Clinique Beyond Perfecting, what is this thing called again? I'm literally like staring at the thing. Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer. Mine is in the shade One Linen, I believe. They did not write it down and I have forgotten. No, it's 0.5, it's 0.5. What is the 0.5, Breeze? Yeah, the 0.5 and Breeze, it is the lightest shade. They appear to have 20 shades. I'll read you the claims off of my phone. It is an oil-free foundation and concealer, one that achieves a flawless look that lasts all day. This lightweight, moisturizing foundation and concealer provides full coverage without clogging pores. This 12-hour wear, breathable formula is ideal for very dry to combination oily skin types. Its special polymer formula forms a flexible film that moves with the skin for lasting wear and dries slowly for easy blending. Get lasting coverage and give skin a perfected look that stays put even through sweat and humidity, which I know all about sweat and humidity. So let's open this little booger up. They did write down what I got. I had thought this whole time, say, oh God, they didn't write down what I had. Now, normally this comes with the bottle that has like the giant doe foot applicator in it, but I have this. So we're just gonna work with what we got. This is what the foundation itself looks like. It is pretty thick. And it took her forever to scrape this much off of the little doe foot. So we're just, I have been told that you don't need a lot. Now, I don't have any oil control primer on my face. I do have a bit of the YSL Touche Clot Blur, blur thing to fill in my pores. But other than that, my face is clean and moisturized and not much on it, so. And supposedly this works as a concealer as well. So. Ooh, it's kind of fragranced. Now they did not match me to this. I matched myself to this in the store, so hopefully this will work out all right because everybody knows that Sephora's lighting is god awful for actually matching people to anything. And that actually was enough for one side of my face for the most part. And I do have this popped thing down here that is scabbed over but it's actually covering it decently well. Much better than some other stuff that I've been using lately. Oh, this is a Real Techniques sponge. It is clean. I did wash it before I did this. To make sure that just a dirty wet sponge didn't, you know, hamper it in any way. I'd say this is a good color match. I don't have to like super blend down my neck or anything like that. This side has it, this side doesn't. I'd say so far, it's doing a good job so far. You probably don't need that much. <laughs> probably have another application in there, that's sad. Or that's great, not sad, wrong word. I know Cassie from Thrift Thick tested this and loved it and even bought a full size of it, which is why I was dying to test it. But we have completely different weather situations because she lives in Minnesota and I live in South Louisiana. So heat is a completely different thing here. But otherwise, me and her have basically the same skin concerns, oily, acne prone, that sort of thing. and super fair, so. Uh, 
I will say it, it's got good coverage. I don't need concealer except for maybe a little under my eyes, but I would say I don't need corrector under my eyes today. So that's good. So I will be finishing putting on the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay, I'm finally back. I was trying to outweigh the lawnmower, but it looks like it's gonna be going for a while. So I'm just gonna film real quick. So I have everything on. This sheen you're seeing is highlighter. It is not the foundation itself. But so far, I mean, I really like it. It's a good color match. I didn't have to take it all the way down my neck like I do a bunch of foundations. It did, you know, make my skin even and everything like that. Made me not like super matte, but matte enough. So we shall see how this does. I haven't had much luck with high end any foundations really. My favorite foundation is the Maybelline Fit, Fit Me Matte and Poreless for crying out loud. So I will go about my day and check in with you guys later. Okay, I'm back. It's been about four hours since I applied everything and I've been out, which means I have sweated a ton. And I'm sweaty, I'm shiny, but don't think I've actually lost any foundation. Like I didn't just sweat, I poured sweat because it is 90 degrees with a crap ton of humidity. So we're gonna see how oily I actually am. All right guys, I mean, can you see? That's really good. So I'm definitely impressed so far. <sighs> So I don't even have to powder. I did blot and what shine I had went away. So, and I'm, like I said, I did sweat a lot, but like the foundation didn't disappear or anything like that. Like I could still see my blush and everything. So, and my little friend right here is still well covered up. Not with concealer either, it's just with the foundation. So I'll be back. Okay, we are gonna do the final check-in. I have had this on for nine hours now. And I'm tired <laughs> and I kind of want to go to bed but I must say I'm gonna bring in this foundation still looks pretty good nine hours of sweat I still have some of my blush on I don't know if you can see my con oh you can still see my contour a little bit yeah it's kind of hanging in there definitely can still see my highlight <laughs> and it did cover up my scab goat that I have going right now pretty well. I really like this foundation. And I looked it up, it's only $27 for an ounce, which I know that's still higher than, that's still like double a drugstore foundation. I mean, for the other thing I really like, the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, that's more, way more than double. That one runs probably between eight and 10 bucks. But this is really good. Like it actually, even with like sweat literally pouring down my face earlier today, it's still on my face. So I'm really impressed and I might buy a full size of this, honestly. I'm gonna go through some of my older foundations first because I, I have a lot of foundation right now. I bought a lot this year of like drugstore stuff to try. But once I go through some of those, I think I'm buying this. This is really nice. So if you have oily skin uh, if, and if you can find your shade match in it, I definitely recommend it. So that's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. As always, I do really appreciate it. We really appreciate it. Yes, because I'm sitting on my couch. My dogs are sitting beside me or one of my dogs. The other one is in bed with my husband. But we really appreciate you tuning in, and hopefully we'll see you later. Bye! She does not like this.